This year we focused on three areas, research, diversity, and communication. For research, we helped the Forensic Science Foundation and the Humanitarian and Human Rights Resource Center, both of which gave grants. For the foundation, we focus on students. For the Human Rights Center, we focus internationally, and both gave grants in areas that otherwise wouldn't have been able to conduct research. For diversity, we made a diversity committee a standing committee of the academy, and we're moving forward with that issue. With communication, we really focused on areas that are unfamiliar with forensic science, and so we partnered with the Smithsonian American Art Museum to sponsor the Frances Glessner Lee exhibit with her crime scene dioramas, and that was very successful. That was the biggest draw audience that the museum had had for a while, and it reached a lot of people that otherwise don't know a lot about forensic science. The greatest accomplishment this term was the Academy's work through the Academy Standards Board. We have three approved Academy standards, and they are on their way to becoming ANSI standards. We have two technical reports that were issued, and we have just done great work with the Standards Board, and I really am pleased with what they've been doing. It's been a great accomplishment. There's also been great accomplishments with communication. We reached out in an area that was really odd to the John Oliver Show, and we did a segment on, forens or helped a segment on forensic science there, and we were really pleased with that. That also reached a bunch of people that otherwise don't know a lot about forensic science other than what they see on TV. This gave them a lot of facts and a lot of the reality of forensic science, and I think it was very successful. We chose Cuba as our international educational outreach program this year to go back to the roots of the academy. This is our 70th anniversary year, and back in 1948, when Gradwald was coming up with the idea of the academy, he was doing it in connection with one of his colleagues from Cuba. And unfortunately, right after that, the Cubans were unable to travel, and they did not become a part of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences. But keeping our name, it is the American Academy, not the North American Academy, and it still encompasses the ideals of our colleagues from Cuba. And so this is an outreach to, they can't come to us, we'll go to them. And so we're really looking forward to this educational outreach program. This year we propose structural changes to the leadership of the Academy. The Academy has, since the inception, had a rather odd leadership structure to where the entry position is the vice president. And that's not a normal organizational structure. And with our trying to interact with other professional organizations, it's a little odd for them. They, they reach out to what they think is a leader, almost president position, and it's really our entry position. And so what we're trying to do is normalize our structure so that the entry position is secretary, then it goes to treasurer, then vice president, president-elect, and president. This structure also ensures that people who are advancing through the leadership structure serve as treasurer, because you really need that financial experience to understand what the academy can do and what it needs to do. The most memorable part of this year is probably the collaborations. I was really, really lucky to be in between John Gerns and Sue Ballou. Nothing is better for a leadership position than having strong people that you can rely on. And John was a great example. Following along behind him, I learned so much. He put together a great program. I learned a lot. And having Sue there in case I needed any assistance was terrific. And so the three of us worked really well together. The collaboration with other organizations as well. This program this year focused on a lot of other professional organizations coming to us and telling us what they can offer forensic science and what perspective they have that could benefit forensic science community. What I envision for the Academy and its members moving forward is really a continuation of what we've been doing since 1948. Gradwald had a vision about the Academy, that it was a collaboration of colleagues from all different disciplines so that we would learn from each other. And I see more of that in the Academy now, probably even than in the inception. And I think for the future, it'll be even more so.